Hi and welcome to Acme Machining. I'm Todd. Uh, as you know from the previous video, I've got a brand new mill here from Modern Tools in Calgary. And uh, of course, a new mill, what do you got to do? You got to get it all set up. So I've got everything cleaned up, cleaned all the packing grease off it, oiled things up properly and stuff like that. And now I've got a tram in the head. So I showed a while back uh, a real easy way to tram a head and I would figure I'd share it with you. So, okay, here we go. What I'm going to use here is I've got a brand new brake rotor. I'm going to mount this on my table. And now I've got a surface that I can run my indicator around without worrying about it going and dropping in the uh, keyways here. So I'll get the indicator set up and I'll bring you back. I've got the indicator set up so it's the back plunge start indicator and it's running on this rotor. And as you can see I can just rotate this around and I don't need to worry about it going in and out of the uh, keyways. So over here I've got about 75 and over here I'm about 15 so I'm tipped this way and I've got to square up this part of the head first so I'm going to do the side to side first and then I'll do the knot. So Okay, so I'm just going to loosen off these bolts, pull this handle out of the way. And I am at 44 there. And I go across the other side. I got to see what I'm reading. Of course, you guys can't see this indicator. And I'm at 46, so. Just come back over here where I can see it.
46 and 50. So just halfway between there and tighten the head up. Still two thou off. So. We're splitting hairs here. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to tighten the head up here and see where we're at. And we're showing zero all the way there. So next we're just going to do the nod. I'll get set up for that and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm going to bring you in handheld here. Excuse the shaking. I'm trying to block the glare. We've got zero on the right side of this router. And if we rotate around... I'm touching it, so that's setting it off here. Okay. Left side of the rotor, we got zero. And right side of the rotor, we got zero. Now, I haven't adjusted the nod yet, but we have about plus three there. And if we come around the back, I'm trying to get the glare out. We're at about minus two, so. We adjust our nod by doing up these, loosening off these three just slightly. And then we've got a uh, worm bolt here that adjusts the tilt that you can see here on the 
graduate at scale. So, and just while we're in here looking at the graduate at scale, you can see that my zero indicator is correct for the left and right. So it's set on zero at the nod and we're only off by a few thou. So I'm going to go about setting that up and uh, we'll come back to you when we get it all zeroed out. Then what I want to do is I want to take this rotor off and actually run it on the bed of the mill to confirm that the rotor is correct and then I'll store the rotor for the next time. Okay folks, so right now I'm reading zero at nine o'clock position, zero at the twelve o'clock position, zero at the three o'clock position, and zero at the six o'clock position. And when I spin this around, that needle is almost acting like the dial indicator is not touching anything. It's running perfect. So, I'll uh, see if I can get some of this handheld. I don't know if I can. And the glare doesn't help. So, there's a zero. There's a zero. There's a zero. And there's a zero. So what I want to do now is I'm going to take the rotor off and I'm going to check these here without the rotor on. Now I'm been going here and it's an 11 and a half inch. I could stretch it out closer to the edge and get over 12 inch. But to be within a thou on a 12 inch circle, this thing is going to work sweet. So uh, I'll come back when I'm checking the bed because I want to verify that this rotor is correct before I say that it's gospel. Okay, now we've got the dial indicator set right up on the bed and we're reading zero back here at the 12 o'clock position. We're reading zero at 3 o'clock. We're reading zero at 6 o'clock position. And at the 9 o'clock position. So the rotor's correct, but the rotor is so much easier than having the dial indicator falling in these keyways all the time. And, uh, or the key slots. And, uh, it's just a lot quicker if you have a good rotor to get it done. So uh, enjoy.